do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied there were the different laws of uh, combination uh, that we have studied and now we are going to do a very deep detail about what is law of conservation of mass so let us see what it is so let us see what is law of conservation of mass actually this law states that during chemical combination of matter the mass is neither created nor being destroyed so talking about this thing whenever a chemical reaction is been involved the basic thing is the reactants react with each other or they interact with each other so as to produce product so in this case suppose if the reactants have a particular mass and that mass would be the same when a product is been produced so in this case what i'm trying to say is the mass is not been getting wasted it has been converted from one form to another form when we are talking about mass that is from reactant to product so let us talk it about in a very deep detail so as you could understand in a better way suppose if mass of reactants are measured before the reaction and after that and mass of the products are be measured after the reaction then it is been found that that the mass of reactant was equal to the mass of product that is been produced now so in this case the thing is the and the mass is not been wasted not been created not been destroyed so overall the mass remains same for the reactant and when it is been consumed and when it is been reacted with each uh, with each other the both reactants will react with each other then the same kind of mass or the same mass will be produced when the product is being uh, produced during the reaction so let me give you an example so as you could understand it in a better way that is i have mentioned here a combustion reaction of a carbon in which case the carbon is solid form while oxygen is a gas and after uh, the combustion of this thing what i get is carbon dioxide so in this case let me give you an example suppose if i take the molar mass or the number of moles of carbon that is been involved in this case that is is one carbon is been involved so suppose if i take the carbon weight that is if i take as one molar that means i am taking as 12 gram of carbon and now talking about the oxygen which is in a molecular format which is not in oxygen format which is in a molecular format so in this case one oxygen has a molar weight or molar mass of uh, 16 so basically there are two atoms that are been involved in oxygen in this case so therefore to make it as one mole of oxygen molecule so i am talking that there is or 32 gram of oxygen which makes one mole so therefore the mass of the carbon in this case is 12 gram and that of the oxygen is 32 gram and if we combine this both uh, masses that is when i am talking about the reactant then what will happen is if i combine this then i get that the mass is somewhere around 44 gram and this is for the reactant but when suppose if the reaction is been uh, concluded in a very effective way then carbon dioxide is been produced and in this case also one mole of carbon dioxide which has been produced will have a molar mass or will have a weight of 44 gram itself why because this carbon which has a weight of 12 gram that is is been one mole that is been involved in this process and uh, that is oxygen that means two atoms are been involved that is overall 32 gram is been involved of oxygen so the same this carbon dioxide will also will have 44 gram so basically you can convert the reactant into product by maintaining the mass so basically what and why we have learned this kind of law of conservation of mass actually so what are the applications of it so the application is very much simple the application is by considering or by knowing a chemical reaction we could understand that how many moles or how many weight of reactant should be involved so as to get a product or we could uh, think in a very uh, vice versa way that is suppose if this kind of product is been 
produced. So we could imagine or we could estimate that what weight of the particular uh, elements that are being involved or how many moles of the elements are being involved. So these are the applications because of the law of conservation of mass. So it is very much clear that the mass is not being destroyed, even the mass is not being created or extra mass is also not, it is not being created actually. So it is very much simple to understand this conservation of mass. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got an idea that the chemical reaction obeys the law of conservation of mass. Share this video with your friends and yes, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.